Jam your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Jehovah He. Jehovah Ha. Jehovah He. Jehovah Ha. Jehovah He. Come on, shout. appreciate you. We honor and adore you. Let's keep standing as we take charge for today. John chapter 3 verse 15. John chapter 3 verse 15. That whatsoever believeth in him 
should not, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I want you to declare what you believe in God today. Shout to God, oh Lord, I believe in you. And I declare today that I will not perish. Go ahead and pray to God. Take care. Oh God, I declare this week, this day, oh God. And I believe in you. So I come to declare in the, children, in the midst of the children of God that I, God, by the grace of God, by your power, by your might, I will not perish. My house will not perish. My family will not perish. The work of my hand will not perish. Nothing will perish around me. Nothing, nothing, nothing dies around me. Nothing will perish around me. That everything about me, everything in me will survive by your power, by your might. I declare, oh God, that today, whosoever believeth in you, Lord, because I believe, I declare, my children will not perish. Tell God, my children will not perish. My household will not perish. Everything that concerns me will not perish. My business will not perish. My earth will not perish. Oh Lord, my earth will not perish. I declare this in thy presence. I declare this, oh God, in thy sanctuary. I declare that my earth will not perish. Declare to God, God, my earth will not perish. My earth will not perish. Everything that the enemy has inputted in my life to, to make me perish, Lord, today they die in the name of Jesus. Lord, today they die in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to shout, every sucking agent, every blood sucking agent, you will not suck my blood and that of my loved one in the name of Jesus Christ. No sucking demon, no power. No, and I, no, 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 there's no power that is sucking blood that will be able to suck my blood, that will be able to suck the blood of my children. Any of my loved ones, no power will be able to suck their blood. In the name of Jesus, I declare in this sanctuary today that no power will suck my blood, no power will suck the blood of my loved one. In the name of Jesus, that every loved one that you have given unto me, Lord, they are secure, they are sound. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. My soul will survive. Declare in the sanctuary, my soul will survive. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and tell God, God, my soul will survive. My soul will survive. In the midst of this generation, my soul will survive. The soul of my business, the soul of my career, everything about me will survive. In the name of Jesus Christ, my soul will survive. It will survive every attack. It will survive every power, every principality. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, angels of destruction will not come near you in the name of Jesus. It will not come near your house in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not come anything near anything that concerns you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now listen to me. Angels were casting down their crowns. The meaning of to cast down is Kenya Kolumale. Is somebody here? They were casting down their crown to worship him. The Lord will worship you. Sit down. It's the ancient of days. Ancient of days. Most time, this ancient of days comes down to honor men. He has chosen today as one of those days. There are people here this day that shall be honored. Yeah. I might not know the names, but I'm convinced somebody's here. God will honor you. Yeah. I have three minutes to do this. Mrs. Karo Asagba, Sister Joy, Ede Joy, Brother Jesu Leye James. Please quickly, one, one minute for your testimony. If it exceeds one minute, uh, we we'll stop the flow. Then Anonymous is thanking God for releasing. Something he has been praying for for four years. Anonymous is thanking God for his safety on for traveling from Shokoto. Uh, brother and sister Lusanya is thank they are thanking God for sustaining their marriage. May the Lord sustain them all. Church I didn't okay. Okay, you can go ahead. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. And I want to thank God because people did not come to pay a covenant visit to me and my family. I want to thank God because on Sunday, God saved my husband. I was healed, and he went out to get drugs for me. When he came back, his own phone was ringing. He wants to collect the phone. Our ties just left my husband from the TV stand to ties. My husband, in short, is unconscious from 10 p.m. to almost 2 o'clock. I put the anointing oil I have. I prayed. It is good to make peace with people. I cry out in my estate. I have about five pastors in my estate that they came at. We prayed. <laughs> Nothing happened. I said, okay, let's rush him. We went to SLX in Alokba. That is the HMO. We went there around 10 to 11. The nurse said, there's nothing they can do. My husband is gone. I said, Father, you said about 70. Hallelujah. So I took my husband, me, and the pastor. I felt very cold. We, they said, General. When we get to General, they said, there's nothing they can do. I said, ah, ah. No, that people should make attempts. I said, nothing they can do. I said, ah, the devil is a liar. He has lost his battle. Hallelujah. So we have to leave my husband in the vehicle that took us to general. The pastor and I myself, we were praying. We pray till 2 p.m. When we were praying, at about 2.30, my husband sneezed. I said, Father is alive. Father is alive. I will know more. Hallelujah. 2.30, my husband sneezed. I said, yes. We started praying. The nurse, the daughter, they ran. We were looking at it. So this man is alive. They gave us paper. So we should go to loot. I said, we are not going to loot. My husband will be here. So after the prayer, everything will rush him back to the house. I was with him with the pastors. So after everything, the next day, if you're not able to sleep, the head, the head, the head. I say, Father, whatever that is wrong in the head, you are, you are going to correct it. I have no other place. I have no other bottle. Thank God that on uh, Monday morning we went for the history, everything was normal. Yeah. I just want to thank this God because if Let God somebody God, shout hallelujah. Emergency that is beyond repair will never fall upon you. It will visit your home in Jesus' name. Next person, next person. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I want to give praise to God for my traditional wedding, which was successful two weeks ago. But um, before then, I was supposed to go with some of my relatives to Adamawa, the one from my father's side in Abuja. Something happened in the office, he could not go, auditors were coming. And on two days before time, he told me that information. The second one from my mother's side just had diabetes, just like that, a day before time too. So um, my wife wasn't happy and um, we were down, we were a little discouraged. We just summoned courage and let's go. Let's go, we went with friends, but none of my relatives were available. The ones that are in Lagos, Lagos is a bit far, because of distance and security in the season. So we went and um, the next day my wife came to the place I lodged she said, what are we going to do now? Because she's surrounded with some prominent people. Her dad is dead, her mother is dead. But the person standing as a father is the current permanent secretary to the governor of Adamawa. And that's the father, that's our father's brother. And apart Can from you that- you quickly tell us what they call, because uh, yes, time. There are other people I was to meet there that would, could put me under pressure. So um, she said, what are we going to do? She was crying. Now what are we going to I said, just go tell your people that we are coming. Just tell them we are coming. So I went to the restaurant to eat. I asked the owner of the restaurant, is there any Yoruba person around here? They said, yes, that um, skeptically one or two comes around. And the next few minutes she called, she made a call and somebody came. He said, he's the chairman of the old Yoruba Association of Adamawa. And I frustrated for him. I explained everything. He said, no problem. And nothing. God, and God, what did God do? And because finally, time has gone. The chairman and of the Yoruba Association went with the youth chairman and got another elderly man and they went together with me and everything was okay. Okay, hallelujah. And everything went well. And now God said, he will always raise people for you when you need them. We give praises to God and that wedding will be a success. In Jesus' name. Please, because of our time, next person, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Um, as at last year, I was very sick. It got to this year, February. I was sick to the SN. They had to take me to the hospital. They did various tests. It did not show anything that was in my body. So three months later, I came to church. Daddy prayed for me. He told Pastor Wilson to also pray for me. He prayed for me, and I went back to the hospital. They found what was wrong with me, and now I'm fine. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God is redeeming you from the jaw of death. I do not know the person I'm praying for, but I'm praying for somebody as I am led. This day, in the mighty name of Jesus, what men can't handle, your maker will handle it. Whoever that cost you, that you should be dying gradually, because you are in this service, that cause is reversed. I said the cause is reversed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, quickly, because of our time, I want to celebrate you again and again. For the year is getting to a close now. Uh, but you can be sure of his faithfulness. You can be sure of his faithfulness. The evil that ends the year will not come near you. Amen. You know, Jesus, while he was with us, told us that every day is full of evil. So as beautiful as days are, they are loaded with evil. But I pray for you again, no evil will come near you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank God for this month, the month of Jehovah. And uh, it has been showing up in all some ways, in all some ways, beyond description. 
So this is his service this morning. Service of Jehovah. But it's subtitled Beyond Words. O Jorolo, Jehovah Jorolo. O Jorolo. You will be stable. You will be stable. You will be stable. Bring the child. The living child. Cut him into two. <laughs> Cut him into two. There be two of you. You are arguing. Over the dead and the living. Two of you are laying claim to the living one. Okay, cut him into two and give one part to A, give one part to B. The woman whose child died, really, said, uh -huh, cut him into two. The one, the mother, the real mother said, don't cut him into two. Give him to the woman that is saying you should cut him into two. If the baby grows, he will trace his mother. And the Bible said there have never been a judgment like that in Israel before. And the Bible said because of that singular judgment, <laughs> the fame of Solomon went abroad. Everywhere they were talking about Solomon. God asked me to tell somebody. He said one transaction. One connection that will spread you, your fame abroad, will happen before this year ends. I am on Job chapter 38 from verse 1. And the word of the Lord God came to Job and said, Who are these people that darken cancer? Without wisdom, without knowledge. They darken cancer because they have no knowledge. <laughs> As at this point, Job began, he has started doubting God. Is this God real? How can I be serving him? And it will make me to lose all the children in a day. Not even gradually, in a day. How can I be serving the, this God and my friend, all my friends, will turn against me? You remember, his friend turned against him. They began to tell him, you see, you see, shut up. And Job was saying, me? Is this God still real? And God came to him. He said, you are questioning my wisdom. He said, okay, Job. Get yourself together as a man. Because I will be asking you some questions. If you can supply answers to them, then I will know that you are wise. In verse 4, God said, where were you? Where were you? Look at it. When the foundation of the earth was made. Now, if you want to compete with me, you want to doubt my reality. Answer some question and I will give up. Where were you, Job? Now, okay, let's forget about that. Who did I employ? Which architect did I employ? To put line. Let's measure it. Tell me the name of the architect. Praise the Lord. Or who helped me do the survey? Or who gave me the CFO? Hey, 
can I announce to you? Your enemies are not able. Are you here? Your enemies are not able. They can't undo you. Now bring forth a woman in your father's house who come in that can answer all this question. Then I will know they can get you. But if nobody in your father's house forgets. Look at it. The next question. Who is there for crying out loud? The next question. God was asking Job. He said, what support is foundation? And who laid this cornerstone? You know, when you want to build, you will call a pastor to come and lay stone and pray on it. God was saying to Job, tell me the name of the person I invited that gave me the support. Is somebody here? Obato Biarare. He gave birth to himself. He christened himself. <laughs> Self-sufficient God. That is the God your enemies are competing with. Now stop fidgeting. Stop shaking. This God is beyond worse. He said to Job, what have you lost that you are calling them losses? Me that I have not started with you. There is no mother here that will cry over a child. The same way your parents will never cry over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He asked Job for that. Look at the question. God help me. He said, as the money starts sang together and all the ages shouted for joy, have you ever commanded them that they should sing and they answer you? Have you ever told them to share the wickedness of the hair out of his places? No, God was asking Job, can you give me your Bible? These people are not operating on my, space, on my pace. God was acting, asking Job, Beyond things that wait that nobody can answer. Praise the Lord. He said, who kept the sea inside its boundaries? At its boss from the womb. The next verse. He says, and as I clothe it with cloud and wrap it in the thick darkness. Who made that possible? Shout and say, you are the one, O oh Lord. First 11, that's where I'm going. Let me, let, me, let me get to first 11. Let me get to it. He told the sea. I want it in King James Version. He said, he told the sea. God told the sea, I know your pride. All ye see, I know you are proud, but never exceed this boundary. And since I told the sea, never to exceed this boundary, it has never exceeded it. <laughs> Listen to me, honestly. Oh, pastor, this is the kind of the dream my father had before he died. God said, shut up. I told the sea never to exceed the place, and ever since then, it has never exceeded the place. He asked from Job, he said, do you know the door to death? Show my leg quick. Is somebody, no, I don't want your, I don't want that. He said to Job, do you know the door? Where the door of death resides? He said, I'm the only one that know. I have come to lavish you with blessings. Hear the word of God. Around you, whoever is saying, prophesying dryness, 
commanding dryness upon your destiny, upon your business, upon your father's house, upon your children, upon your wife, upon your husband, whoever is prophesying, decree evil, shall carry his evil load. He said to Job, do you know the warehouse of the storm? Show me the storm. I went to Show me the storm. I created them and I made a house for them. Sir. Tell somebody they say they are too small. Now, he said to Job, do you know how the ghosts upon the mountain deliver when they are pregnant? He said, I allow them to carry their pregnancy. I give them EDD. Is that not what you call it? <laughs> Expected date of delivery. Could they miss it? A little of a lost bit of money two weeks before or two weeks after. Oh, no, no, my friend went. Now read that passage. They go upon the rock. I will give them their delivery day. It has never missed. And when they give birth to their children, I create another place, empire for their children. They leave their mother, they never return, yet they won't lack. The ravens will give birth. He said, by the time they give birth, their mother will leave them. And their babies will cry unto me. And I will send them food. And they will survive. Listen to me. He said the pilots, they will go by the wayside. They will lay their heads in the dust. And they will never consider that men will trample their head with their feet. And yet the head will survive. Shall we rise? Hear this. I do not know who is bragging around you. Who is saying, I will show him, I will show her. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorrow, Kumba, Alagarani. <laughs> Only Palori on Bobotoda and Agarani. In chapter 39, God was still asking some dangerous. Only she only called Kidobu, called Sophon, and it told Biodo. Measure the name of Rain's father and it will be Ojo. Only because so I let you and one in the phone at the way it's told. All of my mama, if you want Pama, the headstone, I keep them for the day of my vengeance. Thank you, Jesus. That's Jehovah himself. 
when God asks men questions that men cannot answer. <laughs> Where can we get bread to feed all this multitude? There is no restaurant that can feed them. Abi, no restaurant. There are multitude of them in there. Where would they get food? At that time, no restaurant. Abi, that will feed that multitude. <laughs> but the scriptures say he asked himself not what to do. Is too much. Tell somebody say God is too much. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen to me. Do not take his silence for his absence. The Lord said to me now, there is somebody here in your command. I saw the person. Only in your command tell you. Somebody always follow you. You are here. The person will always follow you and nobody sees the person except you. Should I say it in Yoruba? You are the only person that sees the person. Yet the person follows you always. Now the Lord asked me to pray for you. As this congregation will pray one prayer. Lord God, show up in my life. Is that a good prayer point? Oh Lord, show up in my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer. And let that person come out now to be prayed for. Let that person come out to be prayed for. Thank you, Jesus. Can I have the oil? Come out, man. Come out, here, man. Kneel down. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we say thank you. What the Lord asked me to do is to drive the person back forever. The individual following you everywhere. I saw the person. I saw the person. I stand in my office under your noisy amen on behalf of these people. I decree that this evil personality is destroyed. I saw somebody with a persistent headache that has been there for two years. Every day, headache for two years. God said to me, drive the headache. If that is you, rush out now. For two years, God said, the headache has been on you for two years. Now just place your hand on that head now. I command that evil harrow to leave your body now. Amen. Amen. Um, A forty year, so do it. Amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. You can go back. God bless you. Now, listen to me. The voice of the Lord, not the soul, not the soul of the Lord. <laughs> the voice of the Lord, not the cutlass of God. Abi cuts the cedar of Lebanon. <laughs> the voice of the Lord. Listen to me. I speak to you, to your destiny. Show him a roar like thunder. The man that is against you, against your children, that is hell bent. Say no to your yes. Hear the word of God. It shall amen sound more than the amen of your neighbor. You are the one that will bury him. Everybody was saying to Mordecai, to Haman, leave them, leave them, leave them. He wrote me, no. Mordecai Hashem, me. Mordecai Hashem, me. We will have a He had went to someone. The, mother, the wife told him, find out so before you embark on this fight. There are stars that you don't touch. I stand in my office. Wasters in your father's house are wasted. I stretch forth my hands towards all the teenagers and I extend the hand to all the children. I use you as points of contact. Whoever said is or highs against you will die for your sake. This teenager all, for, all, all through the weekend they were here for their seminar. Abi, codes of purity, Abi. Eh? Purity cold. She shall go near. She shall go near. She go. If he says, let's have that. Let us wait for our future. If he says, let me touch you. Let us wait till marriage. Say no, no, say no, no. Let us wait till marriage. He will say, slice outside. Let us wait till marriage. He will say, let me touch you. Let us wait till marriage. Say no, no, say no, no. My body, 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 my body
We say thank you. Now, from this place, the bigger than big gate is risen. Bigger than sugar bag is risen here. Bigger than dango tail of this world are coming out of this place. Nobody will be able to defraud your destiny. Wherever you face, all over the world, you will stand out for Jesus. Amen. God shall not show you. Amen. God shall help you. Amen. Your teachers and your coordinator, your leaders, the Lord will uphold them. Amen. Wisdom to raise you, wisdom to take you there, the Lord will keep giving to them. They will not mourn over you. Amen. You will not mourn over them. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. To raise you will be easy for us. Amen. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we extend it so your younger ones. No evil will touch them. Amen. As they are growing, they will grow in power Amen. and grace. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. It is the Lord will keep them. We are so proud of them. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Now, please, let's bring out our tithes and offering. Um, our tithes. And if you paid yours online, please join them to be prayed for. We say all on to like Barasa. Oh, yes. All on to let me wow. Oh, 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 
Oh, Almighty God, we say thank you. Bless your children. Bless your children. You will always have. Today shall be a memorial. For your children, children, we eat from today. Can God help me? Amen. Would you need to hear me? In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Let's, if you have any of your pledges, come and drop it on the altar. Any of your pledges. We say, Oh Lord, so let me me. Oh, oh, Wave those offering. me me we say, hey, Lord, bless our offering and use it for your glory. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 25, thank you, Jesus. One, two, three, go. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The hand of the Lord is upon you. He will sustain you. Now, let me echo this information. Like I said in the second service, I do not know the total, I do not have the total information but God said something will be happening come 17th of January positively. 17th of January. Which is going to be Monday. It's going to be a day that God will set to ancient matters. I don't know. It's a day you should mark in your diary. And from 27 of this month, 27, 28, 29, will be fasting. Just one prayer point as a church. Oh Lord, the key that opened 2022, give it to me. Three days fasting with Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. If you want to write it down, you can write it down. Isaiah 45, 1 to 3, Psalm 29, Psalm 11, and Psalm 55. That's what you are going to use to back your fasting. And uh, the last day is going to be Wednesday. We are going to come together by 6 to break with Holy Communion. Then do not forget, year 2022 is a year of our Thanksgiving all through the year. Things of time shall happen unto you. Amen. You are not saying amen, amen. to that. Amen. And please understand that this Thursday will be the sixth anointed service for prosperity. For prosperity. Will you believe in it and watch if you will not prosper? Do you understand? It will just take your faith. If you have faith, 
you will see the hand results. You will end it well. If this is your first Sunday, this is your first Sunday, there is a woman at this side of my, where I'm pointing my finger to, the Lord said you have been so, you have been feeling alone. I don't want to use the word lonely. It's like you are the only one in the world. Nobody wants to even associate with you. God said to me, he will send help to you. So like I was saying, please do not forget, the night of expression is this Friday. Night of expression is this Friday. The different group will be coming from 7 to 10. We are going to give that, those hours to Jehovah. And it's going to be with, you know, God is going to be visiting us, using different people. We're going to be returning his glory to him. Uh, that day is a day of worship, be worship, be praises, and the Lord will be there for you in Jesus' name. I've told you, never get so busy at the end of the year not to set to the coming year. There's always a way to set to the coming year before the year ends. Never be too busy for what the Lord wants to do. Uh, by Monday, the pregnant woman will be here from 6 to 7. Eh? Okay, so please do not forget. And by the grace of God, uh, this Wednesday we'll be having our only communion. Uh, Thursday, like I've said, our sixth anointing service. Over to God 2020. It's going to start Monday, uh, 2022 rather. Monday the 10th. Six thirty to eight thirty every day. I lost but found reading glasses. Which are the owner see Pastor Awoni. They create a kitty priest him. Uh, an old attending person to wait after the service to see their leader. Family of Adeola Ugundiji has been blessed with a baby girl on Thursday. <laughs> Men escort to please wait to see the president. Any other thing, sir? If this is your first time of worshiping with us, wave your hand. This is your first Sunday. Wave your hand. You have not been out during second service. Okay, rise up to be prayed for. Can you please come out, ma? Come out with your bag, ma. Come out with your bag. Take your bag and come out. If you are clapping for Jesus, please make it louder. May the Lord bless the evangelism department for the work they are doing. Your reward will outlive you. Stretch forth your hands towards them and bless them in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wish them good. Wish them good. So, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Oluwa adi imu. Olonu ashe ye isi adura yin. E o deni shubu danu. The Lord will uphold you. He will bless you indeed. He will fight all your battles. In Jesus' name. It's a layer one, brother. Do you want to be signboards? Okay.
The hand of the Lord is upon you. Shall we rise? You have one minute to ask for something. Just one thing. So shall it be. It is well with you. Amen. Your maker will do it for you. Amen. The Lord that can never be explained. And the mighty name will surprise you. Let somebody shout one loudest, hallelujah. Lord, you will bless all the leaders. Make them great. In Jesus' name. Wow, that was a great time in God's presence. Thank God for his word to us again today. What a way to start the week. You can't hear this word and not see God in action, especially when you maximize the word that has been sent to you. It's a great week and I see God showing himself as Jehovah God to you in this week. Before I leave you, I would like you to check your life. Check to see if you are now a member of the family of God. And what I'm saying is this. If you are yet to give your life to Jesus, you can't experience Jehovah in any aspect of your life. So you need Jesus. Jesus is a gateway to assessing the Jehovah God himself. And if you are there, you want to give your life to Jesus, this is the right time to do it because tomorrow might be late. Close your eyes and say these words after me. Jesus. I need you in my life. Acknowledge my sins. And I acknowledge the fact that I'm a sinner. I need you, Jesus, in my life. And I say it with all boldness. That you come into my life today. Wash me with your blood. Make me yours forever. And from today, I make a decision to follow you and you alone. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Hallelujah. That is it. You are now part of the family. And can I tell you, Jehovah himself will begin to show up to you in every aspect of your life. Before I go, I would like to encourage you to share the link of the service with your family. Share it with your friends. Let them hear what you have heard today so that they can run with the word and have a testimony before this time next Sunday. It's a new week and as you go in this week, I see God working for you. I see the forces of heaven fighting for you and I see blessings rushing into your life. Remain joyful.